Good morning. I thought we'd have another play on YouTube today. And the question that's often asked is what sort of uh, antenna should I use on my handheld? So uh, I don't get many uh, consistent signals here on um, sort of airband, not from, from ground stations anyway. So I waited for our local two meter net to come on uh, on our uh, GB3 EW repeater in Exeter and uh, they're usually on for a good hour so I'm not saying the video is going to take an hour but it'll give me a chance to have a mess about with uh, a few different antennas so you've got a few bits here <laughs> so uh, some of these might look familiar to you so this is the standard aerial you get with a Uniden 3500 these are the old ones you used to get from Tandy I don't know what vintage this is <laughs> a couple of telescopics one longer than the other and then I think this came with the uh, Upitaru 7100, not 100% sure. And then a couple of uh, SMA antennas. So we've got a little Watson telesco telescopic. A couple of these, which are fairly generic. You get loads of them. Uh, this one says it's a Nagoya NA775. 144 and 430 mags antenna. This one <laughs> has uh, rubbed off. This is the standard antenna that comes with an ICOM uh, ID31 like I say we've got a little telescopic there and oddly I can't find the, <laughs> the proper antenna for the radio so let's try and get set up and I'm trying to do this so that you can see the signal meter so you're using the Yasu FT2D and uh, first up let's have a go with we'll start with the SMAs first so I don't have to put the adapter on so start off with a standard 2 and 70 rubber duck antenna and nothing so I'm going to keep the volume fairly low because you're more interested in the signals than the, um, what they're talking about <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just try another antenna first to make sure that they're still there <laughs> okay so we've got an S5 there. So the original antenna that came with the radio, difficult to show you actually. Let's check if I'm zoomed in. And I'm zoomed in a bit. So this is the original antenna that came with the radio, or, or a standard 2 and 70 handy antenna received nothing. So we've got uh, an S5 there. Now these Technically, they're still rubber ducks, I suppose. It's a it's a flexi, flexi antenna. Fairly generic. Lots of brands. There's diamonds and Nagoyas and all sorts. Broadsword do some homemade versions. So this one's about 12 inches in length. I'm gonna expect this one to work exactly the same. We've got an S4, so not quite. A stronger signal. I'm just going to compare them lengthwise. The first one was actually a fraction shorter by about five centimeters. So we've got S4 flashing on S5. I'll show you these lined up in a second before I go on to the BNC antennas. And then this one is the little telescopic. So that's with it collapsed all the way and we've got what an S1. Let me bring it all the way up. <clears throat> and we're up to an S5. So I'll collapse that back down. So I'll show you these all side by side now. I'll pick the camera up for a second so you can see what was what. I'll show them in order. <clears throat> okay. So the, the one on the left get some focus <laughs> the one on the left is the standard antenna you get with the 270 handheld there's the little Watson telescopic I'll show you extended in a second and then you've got the two like I say fairly generic longer rubber duck antennas if you like and you can see that one is fractionally longer than the other and the one that was fractionally longer sorry the one that's fractionally shorter seemed to receive marginally better although there was nothing in it really 
I'm just going to uh, extend the telescopic so you can see the length compared to the others. So there's the telescopic, telescopic extended. You see there's not much in it in the length. Good thing about this telescopic is it, it shuts down to closes down to such a small size. That's a Watson SMA 889. So we'll put this back, get it focused in. I'm just going to have to pick, no, I don't need to pick the scanner up. So I'm just going to pop the SMA, the BNC adapter on there. You can get a couple of types of BNC adapters actually. Um, this type, can you see it's got a thick base on it? So when it screws onto the top of the radio, it's flush and gives some support. You can get some other ones which don't have the thick base on. You shouldn't really use those on your radios because they don't take up the strain from the antenna and it all goes into the socket. And as a result of that, eventually your socket will wear and you'll get a bad connection. Right, let's get the SMAs out of the way. I'm going to start off with the Tandy telescopic. Remember them. Okay, so it's collapsed all the way down now. We've got an S1. He says, knocking the camera over. So we've got an S1 with it collapsed it's all the way down. I'm going to extend the bottom section. And we're up to an S2. I'm going to do the top section. And then S1. That's interesting. <laughs> Now I'm going to collapse the top, but just leave this bottom section up. And we've got an S2. That's a surprise. Oh. Doesn't want to come off. <clears throat> I'm going to go with what I think is an original new Pitaru rubber duck. I'm not surprised by that, if I'm honest with you. Sorry for the awkward positioning of the video, but it's the only corner of the house where I can receive this repeater on a handheld, and it's lashing it down outside. <laughs> this is the standard Uniden rubber duck. S1, S2. The ancient rubber duck. I don't know where this appeared from. Well, look at that. <laughs> S4. Isn't that crazy? I'll show you a close up of these afterwards. Now we're going to go with the short telescopic. Nothing with it collapsed. We'll go all the way up. And we are what? S3 slashing on four. I'm just going to bring it down a bit in stages. I think you can just see the signal dropping off as it comes down, yeah, slowly. So that's the short telescopic. And now we'll go with the long telescopic. Well, <laughs> so that's all the way up and nothing. Come down a bit. This is probably as it starts to come into resonance. I'll try and show you the full length of the antenna in a minute. Well, we've got sort of S2. Come down a bit more. S1. And down to nothing. So, <clears throat> just get these lined up side by side so I can show you what's what. I can't even fit this one in the picture. <laughs> Bear with me. Just extending them all out for you. Yeah. 
So there's the three telescopic. So the top one's a long one, then we've got a middle one, and then we've got the old Tandy. So that one ends all the way down there. If I try and if I go back a bit. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the end of the top one, it's just to the right of the picture frame in the left hand side of the picture. So those are the differences in length. Of course, having the long one fully extended probably took it significantly out of resonance for listing on two meters. <clears throat> oh, sorry. And then there's the three rubber ducks. Three rubber, duck, rubber ducks, if you like. So there was the Jupiter one at the top, and the middle one is the Uniden, and then the <laughs> the funny old thing, which seemed to perform quite well, is to the left. Let's just pop this back. If it will focus. I'm still in a bay window, as you probably noticed. So let's just try those again. So let's just pop this big old rubber duck on. So this is the old funny one. So that was an S3. We'll take that off. And we'll go on with where we started. <laughs> That's amazing, up to an S5. So I'll turn that down. So I'm just gonna put that up. It's probably a 2 and 70 sem antenna that, to be fair. So you can see, you would be able to see if the camera would focus. <laughs> you can see the length of it compared to the telescopics. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna collapse one of the telescopics to that exact length and see what happens. So it's the same length. Just pop the adapter back on. So it's exactly the same length now. So there we go, same length. So what's that flashing on? Flashing on S3. S4 to five, huh, what a difference. Really surprised by those results, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> so the, um, the best was the long rubber duck and the worst, and the second best was the Funny old thing. I should remember that for future reference. Like I say, most of these antennas are fairly generic. Lots of uh, different manufacturers. Lots of fake ones out there. But I don't find much between them, to be honest. And like I said before, I think you can grab yourself a bit of a bargain from Broadsword. Final point while I've got the video on. I think you're going into business with a line of scanner stands. And uh, here's one you can see. Very heavy duty. And uh, if you'd like one of those, I can post one out to you for $49.99. Or you can just go to b and I think it's for people who, <laughs> it's for holding timber work together. And uh, they're about three quid. I know it don't look pretty, but I bought it for when uh, I'm out in the back garden. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's pretty, uh, it's pretty stable. Trouble, I'm sure you've all had it yourself, trying to get your handheld to stand up on a table in the garden. And there's a bit of a breeze with your big aerial on. So it uh, doesn't go anywhere with that thing on. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video, hopefully. Bye-bye.